When it comes to building computers, there's some choices that can be hard to make. What CPU should I get? What case? Which keyboard is the best for me? But one you may not expect is what mouse pad. Mouse pads are kind of easy, just grab a book, throw it on your desk and you're done, but what about people like me who are in love with RGB LEDs? Yeah, light up books are an option, but I think I'm going to go with one of these. The first mouse pad we have is the Baboon King eSports mouse pad from First Player. These are also the guys who sent that Fire Rose keyboard for review last time. Thanks guys. This mouse pad comes with a single USB that plugs into your computer and just like their keyboard, this mouse pad comes with its own integrated lighting profiles. The first one being a very smooth rainbow transition. To change the profiles all you have to do is touch the spider at the top of the pad, which changes the color to red, purple, blue, turquoise, green, yellow, a sort of harsh color transition, a faster color swirl, off, and then back to the smooth rainbow. The top of the mouse pad is made from a very soft fabric that feels really nice to the touch and allows my mouse to move across it with ease, while the bottom of the mouse pad is made from a very hard plastic with five rubber mats to keep it from sliding around. This is great, but unfortunately, only one of the pads actually touches my desk. You see, my mouse pads seem to get a bit warped in shipping. Now, I don't know if this is a normal problem, but from all the reviews that I was able to read, I'm the only person that this has actually happened to, but it was worth noting. Just so you know, if you get this mouse pad, this probably won't happen to you. Now, are there any downfalls to this mouse pad? Well, there is one. As I was gaming with this thing, I noticed that my mouse cord kept getting stuck on the metal bar of the mouse pad. I'm not exactly sure what's in this metal bar, but it gets in the way a lot, especially since the metal doesn't sit flush with the mouse pad, so my cord actually gets stuck in between those, which is really annoying when I'm gaming. If you have a wireless mouse, this is not going to be an issue for you. Other than that though, I really like this mouse pad. It isn't so bright that it distracts me when I'm gaming, but it's also just flashy enough to say, hey, I'm here. This next mouse pad was sent to me from an e-store called banggood.com. They sell a lot of interesting stuff and wanted to help me out with this video, so they sent over the eBlue LED mouse pad. This mouse pad is a bit bigger than the Baboon and a tad thicker as well. It's made of what seems to be a cheaper plastic, which kinda dims the colors of the LEDs, but I don't exactly think that's a bad thing. It has two buttons on top, one for power, which you have to hold down for a few seconds to turn off, and one for switching the integrated profiles. You have the first one being green, blue, purple, and yellow switching sides slowly as red passes around them. I'm not exactly sure what that's called. Then you have red, green, blue, purple, turquoise, white, and then a breathing transition effect, which is my personal favorite. Now, the cord is very interesting on this one. This mouse pad allows you to unplug the cord from the mouse pad and the computer. They also give you an extra USB to replace the one they took from you, which is generous, but I plugged you into a 3.0. Will I ever get my 3.0 back? To be honest, this was really cool of them to do that, and it's nice if you have a wireless mouse to plug into it, or maybe even another LED mouse pad. So what are the cons to this one? Well, because of the material it was made out of being a cheaper plastic, the colors kind of get washed out. Red still looks like red, but it looks like a washed out red compared to the red on my RGB keyboard and mouse. I would definitely suggest getting this if you have a mouse built of the same material. They run for really cheap and they look pretty good, and with this they work really well. I do have to say though that this plastic makes for a great surface and my mouse slides across it like a figure skater. Not bad. This last mouse pad was sent to me by another website, Gearbest.com. They too sell an assortment of different things, but me, I was only interested in the LED mouse pad. So they sent me the Ajaz Gaming one. This one is very similar to the one that first player sent. Same size, similar build material, similar touchpad to change profiles. However, there are a few differences. Some better, some worse, and some that don't really change much at all. Firstly, the material. The top of this mouse pad is made from a very tough plastic that is textured in a way that grips the mouse a lot better than the eBlue we just saw. I'm not sure if I prefer the plastic or the fabric though, as they both seem to get the job done. The second thing is the metal plate at the top. This one does not catch as often as first player's baboon mouse pad did, though it still does grab it a bit. Again, if you have a wireless mouse, this isn't an issue at all. The integrated profiles are similar with a smooth transition through the colors as the starting one, then red, purple, blue, turquoise, green, yellow, a sharp color rotation, a faster color rotation, and then off. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a company out there making bases and integrating the transitions for other companies to buy and brand, but that's not necessarily a bad thing as it ensures that these can be sold at a good price, and to be honest, they are pretty and well made. 
The cons I see with this one are a bit mild, but the plastic used really likes to fossilize fingerprints, especially on the back. It's less noticeable on the front, but I imagine this thing could get pretty greasy if you touch it a lot. Other than that, it's great. Now, I know companies like Corsair and Razer make their own RGB mouse pads, but I was not really interested in reviewing those as there are a lot of things about them that I dislike. Yeah, they offer more lighting customizability, but they also do that thing where unless you buy a Razer Naga and a Razer Firefly, you can't use the cool features that we've locked away for those really contrived reasons. Which is why I like these smaller companies, who granted couldn't get away with that, but also just give you access to all of it without restriction. The Baboon King mouse pad from First Player goes for $25.99 on Amazon. The eBlue Gaming mouse pad goes for $29.99 on Banggood.com. And the Ajaz RGB Gaming mouse pad goes for $26.74 on GearBest.com. Links for those in the description. I want to send a huge thank you to these companies as well for sending these mouse pads to me. I had a ton of fun playing around with them and they gave me great insight as to what I look for in an RGB mouse pad. Just don't get all bent up out of shape if I don't pick the one you like.